Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is really a, almost like a home movie 2.0, I would say. Kind of like an, a throwback to what Family Vacay was when I was a kid. We uh, went on a couple of road trips with the kids in giant vehicles. My brother let us take his RV. It's happening. The home on wheels. Home on wheels. And a little traffic. Apparently everybody else had the same idea. About and it took you forever to leave. Uh, I packed all the kids. I cleaned everything. So what are you talking about, Cash? Uh -huh. All you did was take a shower. started in Wyoming. It was unbelievably beautiful. Literally, I felt like Wyoming was. Encyclopedia Britannica popping into my face. Bald eagles and these giant nests. Like, what are these mountains out there? The nature, the air is so crisp, so beautiful. Are we row, row, rowing the boat, Hayes? Is this cool or what? Honor? It's really cool. <laughs> nope, can't go anywhere. All right, so that boat ride, guys. Here we go. Now, ride. going now to have some like some snacks, some after, late afternoon snacks. All right. Now we're on our journey to our camp. Whoa. Awesome. Wyoming was really immersing ourselves in the outdoors. We did bike riding. I mean, it's so beautiful. How lucky are we kids? Bike riding adventure. Little stop at Jenny Lake. So good.
why we never did this before. I think that everyone should go and explore America because this is a really beautiful place. And I think I've only really been to a lot of urban places and, and suburbs most of my life. A um, little bit of nature, but we really went in on the nature. And um, I may not be a nature person. I think I think I may have realized that one because on our second trip, Floating. Kids did white rider rafting and it was scary because you're like, this isn't Disneyland. Those are real rapids. I had no idea that Cash was such an outdoorsy guy. Learned a lot about my husband on that trip and that my kids are totally adventurous. So that was cool. Girls, say hi. You have a cooler. He vlogs. Where are you guys? Oh, really? They said people do it, but Oregon. No Kelly made us some adult beverages. Very strong ones. Very strong. And Sawyer said she likes it when we get drunk. It's kind of weird when your 12 year old is saying that, but um, this is an interesting perspective. Maybe she thinks we're fun. We have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's some self-awareness here. Can't be bad. Um, we went white rider rafting today and Kelly didn't join us because she thought it was going to be scary, but it actually wasn't scary. I went floating yesterday. I mean, a I, lot I, of activity. I actually me. think that the downhill bike ride next to the main highway. I went bike riding and that was a river yesterday. It's a lot of activity. That was more terrifying, especially with Haven, knowing any moment she could jackknife her bike and end up in the street. Anyways. That was really fun. So, BK. No, don't end the video. We did some canoeing. I'm not a canoer. I go in circles. Man, it was beautiful. All right, guys, morning beer. We are camping, or uh, not camping, but we sort of crashed their campsite. Hey, Haven, happy birthday. Haven is, how old are you, boops? Nine. So are you happy about being nine? Yeah. Yeah? What did you get? To, did you get to open any presents? Mm -hmm. And? I got a camera. What? And a blanket, very comfy blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna do when you're nine? Cause you got like, what do you think? Are you gonna make know. some movies? Yeah, I'm gonna make. Or little shows? I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. A fake Not, one? Yeah. A private one? This is what I've wanted to do for a long time. Like, I get a rock, dump it in water, and then when it like goes up, because I dumped it in water, I'll take a picture. Oh, cool. We are basically in a lake that's in the middle of, it was a volcano, right? Look. And it's obsidian, and there's so many spiritual meanings behind obsidian. Oh, ouch, oh. ouch. Have you ever pumiced your heels before? Really? Perfect. Yeah. Z bar. <laughs> I was like, Kelly Sawyer, who knew you were a canoeer? That's when her like Canadian really came out. I was really proud. Adelio, my princess. <laughs> Kelly, coming in with the uh, kayaking skills. Well, who there are some things. Knew? that are still Canadian about me. Literally, this is the only thing is the only Canadian thing. about you I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this and like french fries with 
mayonnaise, whatever that no, gross thing is. French gravy. Gravy and cheese. Mm -hmm. It's called a poutine. And it's like, and it, it sounds like a poutine. And it is a delicacy. Is it? Along with my kayaking skills, which are also very Canadian. Delicacy. Is it Canadian to hit the passenger <laughs> in the head? I'm gonna help you down. Get off this camera. So on our adventure, um, Haven had her ninth birthday. There's like social distance birthdays. You only kind of can be around like very few people. It's like tricky to try and figure out how to how to navigate it. Um, and I feel like with Haven's birthday, we nailed it. So we are here in Sun River, Oregon, and we are going to be making honors. Haven. Haven. <laughs> Haven's ninth birthday cake. She loves chocolate, so I got red velvet, milk chocolate, and devil's food. And her favorite colors are pink and orange. So Honor is painting a topper. When we were in Oregon, I attempted to make her birthday cake because we were in this smaller town and there wasn't really like a bakery situation or I didn't really know how to do it. I ended up doing like old school, I'm gonna make your cake, Haven, on your birthday. So there was like a slight mishap. Um, maybe I filled it too much. Okay, so. Cake's like totally fell apart, but um, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be really That's nice. You know, it's gonna taste good. Are you a baker? Um, a great baker. No, you're not. You're a liar. I'm not. So, Chef Andre, he was a lifesaver every meal, but he was a dream, and he even coached me through and helped me cook Haven's birthday cake. Here we go. Just got frosting on my. <laughs> just washed this. God damn it! Beautiful. It's pretty, right? It will be very pretty. I'm gonna get this frosting and cake off my arms. <laughs> And just for the record, I'm not an expert at this either. I was about to Clearly. ask you. <laughs> it's like Andre. <laughs> very, it's talks very to evident that I'm not. He's a doing professional. a lot better than I was. No, it's not. Evident. And that's why we're teaming up. Who knew that this is what people do? Looks looks great on camera. <laughs> but I think it's adorable. You know what? My first attempt at doing it cake that's not a sheet cake. What do you want? Okay, so Haven's cake is done. And then it came all together in the end. I feel like Kathy Alba really taught me how to dress things up. Um, and it tastes good. And I'm actually pretty proud of it. Happy birthday to you.
down to visit my friend's farm. Um, we're new friends, but she really like somehow trusted me enough to like let me and my friends and my family go and hang out at her farm. And it is one of the more extraordinary places. I mean, sustainable, humane. There was a baby tractor that Hayes learned how to drive. They also have a vegetable garden, a flower garden. And you can go and stay there. I'm gonna make a lower sugar jam for us simply because I think it tastes better um, and it's gonna be a little bit looser as a result. nature, animals, and that's not me. I also realize that my kids may not be those people either. in like these tents. Yes, we slept in tents. And it was amazing. And I recommend it. You should go to Belcampo. You should go sleep in the tents. The farm is insanely beautiful. It was like one of the better experiences we ever had. This place is pretty magical. And there's Mount Shasta, just like being there. I know it surprises you that I can operate something like this <laughs> farm here. Cash. You did such a good job. I know. This is a beautiful place you have here. <laughs> it's so nice, but like you only see the work that went into building this place, but we only see the end result. And so I'm very thankful that I got to see because I just see the candy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is done. Look at that sky. I mean, it's, oh it's my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Look at your other home. Here we go. There it goes, guys. It was Haven's birthday and um, we had everyone tested for COVID. We had this outdoor social distanced uh, birthday. One of her favorite Disney movies is Mulan. She got to go to Target, which is her favorite place in the whole entire world and pick out all of her favorite treats. We had a Pop-Tart bar. We had sprinkles cupcakes. 
the perfect birthday for her. So this is the road trip. It was very memorable. I would say it was an adventure. I wouldn't say it was like a relaxing vacation. Nope, it was the opposite of that. It was an adventure. I would do it again because I mean, life's about memories, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, turn on those notifications and let me know what other types of adventures you think we should go on. Maybe I've already gone on an adventure. Yes, I did. I'm a terrible liar. I have a really fun adventure coming up. Look out for it. I was a vegan hiker, guys. Peace.